Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss the difference between alternator and generator. The confusion is very obvious as both are using mechanical energy as an input and delivering the electrical energy as a output. The working principle of alternator and generator is also same that is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. If we will see construction wise that alternator have armature and the field winding in same manner generator also have armature and field winding. So there are many similarities between alternator and generator and both are used for the same purpose. Both are having the same working principle and the both have the same output that is electrical energy. So let's try to differentiate between them. Let us try to understand first the working principle of alternator and generator that is the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction in order to better understand the difference between alternator and generator. A British scientist Faraday observed in his experiment that when there is a relative motion between the magnet and the coil that is either magnet is moving with respect to coil or the coil is moving with respect to magnet then there is a induced EMF in the coil. And if the coil is making closed loop, then there will be the induced current in the coil. He observed this phenomenon in his experiment. Based on this experiment, Faraday is given two laws and that laws are called Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So what we learn so far that when there is a relative motion between the magnet and the coil, there is a induced EMF or induced current in the coil. It means we can generate the electricity by giving the relative motion between the magnet and the coil. Hope you understood this one. In my next topic, in next video, I will try to cover the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction in very deep. But as of now, it is enough to understand this topic that is the difference between the generator and alternator. Now, what is alternator? When we are rotating the magnetic field with respect to coil, then that machine is called alternator. But when we are moving the coil with respect to magnet, then we call it generator. As we know that in motor there are two windings. One is stator winding and second one is rotor winding. In same way in generator also there is two winding. This is called field winding. Okay. Field winding and this one is called armature winding. So I can say that in case of generator, the armature winding is armature is moving with respect to field winding and in case of alternator the field winding is rotating with respect to armature winding if you observe that in the alternator the field winding is rotating with respect to armature so there is a relative motion between the magnetic field and the conductor and it's producing the electrical energy in case of generator the armature is moving with respect to field winding. So there is a relative motion between the magnetic field and the conductor or the coil. Then it is also producing electrical energy. I hope you got the difference between the alternator and generator. When the field winding is rotating with respect to armature, it is called alternator. And when the armature is rotating with respect to field winding, that is called generator. Now I hope you got the overview of alternator and generator. Now let us try to find the other difference between the alternator and generator. The first difference between the alternator and generator is that an alternator device that convert mechanical energy into elect AC electrical energy but the generator is converting mechanical energy into AC and DC electrical energy meaning alternator can produce only AC supply but the generator can produce AC supply as well as DC supply. Here might be you have question that why the generator can produce DC supply also but why alternator, alternator can produce only AC supply. This is a very vast topic. The generator can produce AC supply and DC supply both by using the commutator arrangement. I will try to cover this commutator of DC generator in any other video because it's a very vast topic. But as of now you understand, understand that in alternator we cannot do the commutation process but in generator we can do the commutation so we can get due to commutation DC supply. 
if there is no commutation we will get only ac supply same as alternator now let us try to move for the next difference in the alternator magnetic field is rotating inside the armature winding which i already told you in case of generator the magnetic field is stationary and fixed and armature winding is spinning or rotating let us move to the other difference between the alternator and generator is that in case of alternator we are taking electrical power supply from the stator but in case of generator we are getting electrical power supply from the rotor what does it mean as we seen here that the load is connected with the armature of the alternator which is stationary and the field is rotating with respect to armature so what we can say that here the armature is a stator okay because it is not moving so we can say that in case of alternator the load is connected with the stator and we are getting power supply to the load by stator of the alternator but in case of generator the armature winding is moving spinning with respect to field winding and we connected the load to the armature which is rotating so we can say that in case of generator we are getting power supply from the rotor as the armature here is rotating so we can say that the load we are getting the power supply to the load through rotor the other difference between alternator and generator is that the output of the alternator is greater than generator but the output of generator is comparatively less than alternator the reason is very simple i will try to explain you as we see in case of alternator we are getting the power supply through the armature which is stationary so we don't required any carbon bus brush carbon brush and slipping arrangement to get the power supply but in case of generator we are getting the power supply through armature which is rotating so in order to get the power supply from the rotating part of the generator then we need slipping and carbon brush arrangement which reduces the output of the generator where it is very clear in electrical engineering where you will use the slipping and carbon brush arrangement meaning you are compromising with the output you are decreasing the efficiency you are increasing the maintenance and that is the case why the induction motor is the most robust construction in the electrical motor because the induction motor don't required any slipping and carbon brush arrangement but other motor like synchronous motor need this arrangement also to excite the rotor winding of the synchronous motor this is another topic but i am telling you in simple way wherever there is a slipping and carbon brush arrangement involved it means you are compromising with the output you are compromising with the efficiency and the maintenance will be more now let us move to the other difference between the alternator and generator alternator is highly efficient but the generator is low efficient comparatively low efficient the reason is same because we are using the carbon brush and slipping arrangement in the generator to get the power supply but in alternator we are not using carbon brush arrangement and the slipping to get the power supply but here i want to highlight one more point that we are using slipping and carbon brush arrangement in alternator also but not to receive the power but to excite the rotor winding but we know in in order to excite the rotor winding we required a very small power but we are generating a huge power so if we will com will we will not have any slipping and carbon brush arrangement where the power is more then it means we are reducing the losses we are reducing the maintenance so we can say that the alternator is more efficient than the generator the other difference between the alternator and generator is that alternator is of a smaller size but the generator is of larger size suppose i have a alternator of 50 kva and i have a generator of also 50 kva then my generator size will be comparatively more bigger than the alternator for the same rating i hope you find this video informative and you learn something new from this video if you really like this video then please give thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share with your electrical friend and do not forget to hit the bell icon for my future up videos update we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much